I got to play Flight Sim 2024 early, so I wanted to give you guys a good idea of what it's gonna be like when you first open the sim, meaning creating of the avatar, which people are super excited for, so your character essentially, looking at all the different game modes and giving kind of a brief overview of each one. If you wanna see full length videos of each of those, that is on the channel as well. So let's just get into it. So what you've been seeing already, this is just the opening menu, I guess. It's not really a menu. All you can do is start setup or accessibility. A lot of these uh, scenes you've already seen from the trailers. So this is nothing much new. Once you click start setup though, you'll be brought into where you pick your character. So as you can see, customized identity, there's presets, so these are basically outfits that have already been done for you and there's quite a few and you can see the variety in characters so skin color hair color complexion all that stuff also they mentioned that there's a total of they said eight million combinations you can make so that's quite a lot uh, if you want to actually make your character yourself so not use a preset you can go to appearance they have face and as you see there is quite a lot of faces hundreds of them uh, it would be cool if there was some kind of thing where you can like pick the eye color change the spacing of the eyes all that like you've seen in you know some other games then there's body so this is basically just your build the the variety there isn't much there's only three options and they're really not that much different. Then of course there's hair selection and then voice. I will let you listen to a couple of these right now. Aviate, navigate, communicate. It's just the basics. Clear skies ahead, climbing for cruising altitude. And then you can go to apparel. We have eyewear, tops, legwear, footwear, and uniforms. My assumption would be we'll only get more of these as time goes on. I don't know for sure if we're going to get any more. This could be it. It would be cool if we got something, like I said, with the uh, being able to actually change the structure of the face and fully customize each character. But so far, it's definitely a good start. And there's also a co-pilot option up here on the top right that we can't use right now. I'm assuming when the game actually comes out or when the sim actually comes out, we'll be able to select what you want your first officer to look like as well. Now, once we get in, this is our real main menu, the place you're gonna spend a lot of time. And you can see we have a few things. We're gonna go into each one of these. We have world photographer, which is brand new. I don't think anyone knew this was coming. Activities, career, challenge league, free flight, and then of course, marketplace. So first off, let's get into world photographer and I'll try to explain a little bit about what this exactly is. So when you click on world photographer, you get these different icons. When you click on these, as you can see, some of them say zero of five photos, zero of 11 photos. They said this was made for what they call the virtual tourist. So people that play The Sim to look at what's in The Sim for the most part. And in 2024, of course, that's a big deal because it looks so incredible. So we clicked on the one for the um, spectacular bridges here. There's different criteria. So it'll say, get the sun in the photo, get the moon in the photo, get a full moon in the photo, et cetera, et cetera. Get snow in the photo. And for all these things, you can't just change the weather. So this is, you have to actually time when you're gonna go take these photos. And also you can take the photos in the sim without going through this menu process and it'll assign it to whatever one you clicked on. So for example, the bridges. Do I think this mode will be immensely popular? Probably not, but any added modes, I mean, you can't really complain about. Now on to activities. This is gonna look very familiar because it's essentially like it was in 2020. Flight training, again, you'll get a better flight training kind of feel when you do it in the career because you'll actually have to go through steps, not just pick whatever you want. But if you want kind of refreshers or whatever the case is, you can go there. Rally racing, you'll see the rally racing if you watch the video on the ranked mode, uh, that's included in that. But if you wanna just do individual races, you can do it right there as well. Then low altitude, again, you will see this more when you watch the ranked mode. Um, we did that Blue Ridge Mountain ones in there. Then precision landing, they included helicopters in this. I don't remember there being any helicopters for landing challenges in 2020, I could be mistaken. But there you have things like Saba and you know tougher airports, Lukla, et cetera. Then Red Bull, so Red Bull I think is gonna have a big influence on this sim. Obviously they had something to do with the last one with the helipad landing challenge and things like that. There are also two Red Bull planes included in the sim. If you go watch my full plane list video, you'll see those. So that should be interesting, but as you can see, it's grayed out at the moment. So I don't know exactly what to expect there. Some kind of air racing. Then we have Reno air races, which appear to be free this time, which is great. Then discovery, which is, we've had this in the other sim. It's just cool places essentially that you can, you know, kind of get a stepping stone into exploring 
the virtual world. Bush trips, of course, we had bush trips in the last one as well. We got more as there were more updates, so we have that yet again. 40th anniversary, so I guess this will be the same stuff that we got from 2020, all the planes and things like that, and then custom content. One of the new modes that I think people are really excited for, Challenge League, which is basically ranked flight sim. This is week one. You have a ranking, so this is cool. Each week, there will be a new set of challenges. You saw these challenges in the activities earlier, so the Grand Canyon was the one of the racing ones, then the low altitude, and then the precision landing. So you do all these, they're very short, like two-ish minutes each, which I kind of appreciate because that means you'll actually be able to do them every week. If they're long, like say it's a bush flight one, you may not get around to it because you have limited time. So it's cool that they are short, but your rank will change. You can go up in the rankings and then on the left, you can see the rankings versus other actual players. If you haven't seen the video on this one on my channel, go watch it after this. And I actually do each one of these so you can see exactly what it's like and kind of how they give you a score for each one. Then, of course, the most important, free flight. Definitely refreshed, but very familiar. Nothing too different. One thing I was worried about is the UI was gonna be so different, but I'm glad it's pretty familiar. The UI in 2020 was generally pretty good. There were a few things that uh, I had gripes about, but um, as you can see there also as well, uh, if you press N, you could open your EFB. So you can make a flight plan, put in your EFB before you even get into the sim, which is cool. Makes it a little more realistic. Then before I talk about career mode, we have, Marketplace, of course. Now, Marketplace this time will be different. There are some very cool things. So there is rent. You can now rent planes. There's also, as you can see on that one, free trial. The rentals are up to the discretion of the developer. So if the developer doesn't want you to be able to rent the plane, they can do that. But a nice thing about that is a lot of people regret buying a plane or maybe for me, I just want a plane for a video and I don't need to keep it forever on my account. You can rent a plane like that. Another one gifting planes. So I will gift you guys tons of planes on here, I promise. We can do that for landing challenge winners, things like that. We can gift planes. That's incredibly cool. There's also going to be a new way to rate planes in the item shop. Before it was very rudimentary. It was just one to five stars. Now there will be different categories. I don't remember all of them, but it will be a little more advanced, which was much needed, which will help a lot of people. And then finally, what everyone has been waiting for, we have career mode. And what I got asked a lot, yes, there's a currency in career mode. So when you first load into career mode, it will say, pick a starting location. You will pick an airport that's not an international airport or not some major airport because you wouldn't start your aviation career at one of those airports in the first place. A lot of airports show up, but not all of them, like I was saying. So you'll go through some training and then you can pay to take your PPL. So your different ratings and things will cost money. If you'd like to, you can eventually buy your own plane, work your way up, make more money. You have to spend money to repair those planes. And if you skip ahead a little bit here, I have on screen the spider web of different options you can do. So as you can see, you have to start with your PPL. Then if you want to go to the right, you can do rotor craft. So helicopters and things like that. If you want to go left, you're going airplanes. So there's high performance endorsement, tailwheel endorsement, commercial pilot's license, multi-engine. You can kind of pick what strategy you want to go for, what you want to do with it. And on the very ends are things like the firefighting and stuff like that. So, but it's all very exciting, very cool. If you haven't seen the videos on each one of these things that are on my channel, go watch them now for more in depth. This was just an overview, but I hope you guys enjoy the sim and I'll see you in the next video.